Hey, what's going on, friends? We're just getting settled in here. Sorry we are a touch late. I choose, prefer not to be late ever, of course. So what's up, guys? Just saying hi here, waiting for Jay to jump on the building. New York in the building, very nice. Yeah, it's good. Hey, yeah, squeeze them lemons. I like it. I like it. Lemonheads United, yeah, staying zesty. I like it. What's going on, Matt? Good to see you. Uh, Norway in the house, all right. Netherlands in the house, very nice. Good to see the international audience in here. <laughs> Love the guys who are working and jumping on, very nice. Melbourne, Florida, cool. California in the house, I like it. What else we got? Casey Olympia, Washington, very good, good, very good. What's going on, friends? We, uh, we got some exciting stuff coming up this week. I'm certainly pumped about it. I see Jay is typing in the group. Someone must have uh, <laughs> ruffled his feathers. I'm sure he'll uh, he'll jump on in a moment, and then we'll be good to go. But, uh, yeah. Are you guys feeling zesty? I know I'm feeling zesty. I'm just loving all things lemon these days. I continue to hear more and more good news. You know, I spoke to uh, Jake again today. And, uh, you know, the guys have been obviously busy with launching things. I don't get on the phone with them as much as I would like or as I you know, did once upon a time. So it's always good to get any kind of updates that I can get, even if they're in small doses. Uh, I'm liking what's happening a lot. It is, to me, just so refreshing the context, <laughs> refreshing the context that we have, right, of getting regular consistent updates versus not getting any regular consistent updates. And I know which camp I'm signing up for. I like regular consistent updates. I don't care if they're in fractions. I don't care if they're in piecemeal. I prefer any and all updates to the no update plan, to the stay tuned forever plan, to the, yeah, just doesn't sit with me. Doesn't sit with me. So I don't know about you guys. Let's uh, let's let's see. By the way, I am very curious about this. Which projects are you most excited about right now of the ones that you've heard about? You know, Lemflix, Lam Lotto, Lam Pay, any of these kinds of things. I am very curious about what your thoughts are. Let's drop those in the chat while we're waiting here for Jay to jump on. And uh, I am still just trying to message him in a couple different platforms where I tend to communicate. Let's see what I can uh, see if I can reach them. All of them. Yeah. Well, I like that. I mean, that's, that should be, yeah, right. Hit, hit yourself to the wagon, hit yourself to the wagon. It seems like it's going the places you want to be going. Right. I mean, that's the smart move. I think. Lem Lotto, yeah, I'm very excited about Lem Lotto. I'm also super excited about Lem Pay, personally. I just think that could just turn into something so big. Lem Flex is fun. I uh, like the idea of having, you know, a, a million users and getting a, a, a dollar a day from each of them. And then what happens when it expands, you know, or a dollar a month even, but it still could expand to a lot. Lem Lotto, what's it? What's good? We got Lem Flex, Lem Lotto. <laughs> I like it, Lem Lotto. Hey, Amen. Very cool. Lamb Bank and Lamb Pay, I love it. Yes, sir, 100%. Greetings from Brisbane. What's going on, Sten? Lamb Flix, Lamb Lotto, you got me. I'm all I'm all over those. Lamb Pay, same here. Like the idea that Lamb Pay can solve very real crypto problems to me is just like that's just endlessly exciting to me. Solving on and off fiat ramps for everybody in crypto, paying your bills in crypto. You know what I mean? How do you beat that? Lem Bank and Lem Pay. Can't, can't just pick two. I got you. The Lem Pay. I love it. <laughs> You're going to do it telepathically? All right, it's good. Someone someone get catches attention. He, You know, he may just sometimes he's just out and about trying to get to a spot. Yeah, he's coming. He, he messaged me back. Uh, so all good. He's coming, guys. He just needed to get to a spot where he could go, felt comfortable going live from, right? So we all need Lem Pay. I mean... The whole world needs Lempe. That's what I'm so excited about, right? When all of crypto figures out that this problem is solved, 
They may not realize they're coming to the lemon party for all the reasons they are thinking they're coming to the lemon party. But when they come for lemon pay, then they're going to start taking a look around at what else is available. And I think that's just going to, you know, knock their socks up. He's be something huge. What's up, Frank? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Lemon pay for the masses. Yeah. I mean, it. yeah, yeah, yeah you got through to him, Dragon. I like it. But it, it. Lempay will get all of crypto paying attention, right? Just imagine if a small percentage of all the market cap in crypto shifts over just because they were looking for a solution, right? Like one of the things that's going to win in crypto that was always poised to win was real world adoption, solving real world problems. I'm sorry, but when I look at ETH and BTC and I see $10 and some in some cases, 10 hours for a transaction to go through. I've lost all faith that that's going to be a solution to the world's problems. If most of the world's only making a dollar or two a day, but it's $10 per transaction on the Bitcoin network, that's not the winner, friends. That's not like Bitcoin. I'm grateful for everything Bitcoin started and stood for, but that's not the winner, right? Future chains are going to win. And I don't think Ethereum's the winner either. Like the gas fees are out of control. In the last bull run, I spent literally several thousand dollars just in gas fees on ETH chain. Makes me gag just saying that out loud. Like that's how bad it was. Lemon grass, lemon shark. I'm I'm good with those. Sure. What else do we got? Yeah, what other L2 favorites? I don't know. For me right now, I mean, I'm open to all of them, all of the L2 project, but I'm just very I'm kind of a little bit obsessed about Lem Lotto and Lem Pay. I'm feeling like those are going to be just monster projects. Uh, I do think all of them are going to be great. I'm definitely planning to diversify across the board. No doubts about that. But uh, just there's so many options, right? Like how, how many promotions can we use Lem Lotto for? What kind of things can we create with Lem Lotto, right? In terms of cross promotional stuff to promote the next big thing that's coming out. Uh, you guys have also seen the cat fits stuff. I'm excited about that too. And welcome to the stage, Jason Anderson. What's going on, my man? How's it going? Good, man. I'm excited to see you as always. I'm excited to dialogue. Friends, you know him, you love him. We're excited to have him here. So today, let's get some downloads and some updates from you, Jason. We uh, everyone's excited. We took a few days off. Everyone got to cool their jets. We got to see the DAP. We got to see the Lemon Light papers. And we're excited for what comes next. So give us some downloads. Well, you're going to start seeing uh, some more progress, obviously, happen on the DAP. We've got uh, some of the uh, OG projects and that that will start uh, popping up here um, now over the next 24 hours. I think that uh, will be good. I want to address a few things on that because a question hit, um, hit me. And I want to be fully transparent. There is no change in those four projects at all. Therefore, there was not a vote needed for any NFT holders. Uh, the current liquidity pairs are still there. The only thing that's um, a huge benefit. Hold on a second. The only thing that is a huge benefit is there's actually going to be a second liquidity pool that will be set up that will be uh, placed in with Lemon. So uh, because it had no uh, change to tokenomics, it has no change to um, anything of a negative format at all to a user. And anybody can put up a liquidity pair at any point in time in decentralized uh, ecosystems of blockchain. Uh, it did not affect any user at all. There will be a vote uh, before moving over to the L1 that the NFTs will have to make that decision. Um, that will take place uh, in plenty of time uh, so that they can uh, vote to come along. Um, I do not see that vote being a problem, but obviously that's not for me to decide. It's something that they will have to decide at that point in time. So um, I think that uh, right now, it's uh, I want to be crystal clear. Um, if there is anything to do with tokenized, if there's anything to do with anything that will affect a user in any way, shape or form, um, then yes, there will have to be a vote on it. Well, I love that because, you know, that is the decentralized approach, letting the community have a say, have a vote, have a voice in these kinds of things. And it's unfortunate that not everyone in the world sees it quite that way. Some people sometimes think it's okay to make massive unilateral changes. And that's, uh, that's not always a good place to be in, but 
moving the NFTs over. Yeah, I'm with you. I think that vote's going to happen. So uh, love that you're here, that the old projects are moving over. So why don't we set up the clarity on that so there's no confusion. When it comes to Bev, Rev, Drip, and Blocks, are people going to have to do any unstaking, any moving of tokens? Are they going to have to collect rewards? No. Do they have to do anything with their wallets? Just anything at all we need to know about. No, uh, there's absolutely no effect on uh, on any of the users um, other than the website uh, DAP that they go to in order to connect their wallet. Uh, currently, they are on both uh, DAPs. Uh, I believe they'll continue being on both DAPs for uh, the next few weeks until the full uh, transfer has happened. Um, and then uh, at that point in time, they'll just have to log into a different website to, uh, to get to their DAP. Um, as the... Um, the new lemon tree app comes out um, not only will these four projects be available to use that lemon tree uh, wallet app but actually all og projects will be able to use the um, lemon tree wallet app speaking of lemon tree wallet app some of us are very excited about it any updates or uh, etas for that that you can provide not going to provide any updates or uh, etas because i don't want to miss a date but i will tell you that uh uh, review is happening currently right now with uh, the App Store. It is not a finished product. Uh, as of yet, we're trying to get a finished product put out again, uh, back published. I'm going to guess probably by Thursday, I think is the date I got uh, from the tech call. Uh, that one will be a product that we can put out for a MVP um, to the public. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, hey, look at look at Mr. Healy. Mr. Healy joining us. He says the OGs are now on the new DAP. He just looked. Boom. Very cool. All right. Awesome, Healy. Thanks for the update, man. Appreciate it. Um, I, will, so I will tell you a couple other things. So I do have to keep an eye on the clock. So if you can do that for me, since uh, I just got out of a meeting and I'm actually running to another one. Um, I do have a surprise guest that will be popping in uh, in about 18 minutes or so. Okay. So if you can just put a, uh, a clock down to make sure I look for him when he pops in, uh, that'd be great. Yeah, we got the timestamp ready to go. And actually, it's going to coincide pretty nicely. So uh, you talked about uh, liquidity pools. Is there anything else you want to touch on on that front? Because, I mean, I think that is a genuine concern for some people that, uh, you know, is there going to be liquidity over here? We obviously seeing that there's, let's call it struggles with liquidity uh, on the old NFT. So any comments or thoughts you want to discuss there? Yeah, this this will be something that um, will have to be voted on uh, as part of the L1 if, if we wanted to add a liquidity uh, functionality into the tokenomics. I, I have um, that for all of the uh, three different uh, tokenomics. You have uh, blocks, uh, which obviously is the deflationary. Uh, you've got uh, BEV, which is a hybrid. And then you have the uh, half-lives. And so um, there is a, a, a mechanism we put into all uh, Lemon projects, which adds to liquidity it, and widens the base the longer they uh, are alive. Um, it's something that we realized with uh, the OGs that, you know, it was very volatile um, with a lot of liquidity uh, jumping around from project to project. We want to have something that's more stable than that for the user base. Uh, but again, it's not something I can do for old projects without the node holders making that decision. Uh, but I think it's a good cause for it. I don't think we'll have a, a, a problem even having the discussion. But having said that, it will be something that will go out on a vote. You'll be voting on the DAP, um, and it'll be a very public uh, vote, and everybody can kind of see the outcome of it. Very cool. I love it. Uh, we are on the subject of tech, or we were a few minutes ago. Uh, are there any updates about LemPay you can share? Because an, another thing that some people are very, very excited to see. LemPay is up and functional. Uh, we have a DDS, uh, DNS uh, transfer right now for a domain. And I'm very excited that I believe uh, Thursday you will uh, be able to start using that functionality. Very cool. Are you open to sharing said uh url with us or not at this point not yet i, I gotta keep stuff here you guys want me on here every day i've got to keep stuff trickling in you guys like take everything every single time <laughs> I, I get on <laughs> let, me, let me i think changes you know shifts the earth's access a little bit so I, i'm just very excited to see it that's all but um 
Very cool. So let's move on and perhaps discuss. Terry, 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 I will do something for you and Mike. You guys get right. to see it before anybody else. Uh, and you guys can actually do a test. And, and Mike is so great at these videos. I will have Mike go through with you and you guys will be talking about it on a video and actually show people how it works. Love it. Love it. All right. That sounds good. Healy, you listening to that? That sounds great. Good plan. Um, Jason, why don't we uh, move on to light papers? I think there's a lot of people curious and excited to see some of the new light papers of these L2 projects that we've been getting lots of uh, trips about. Yeah, so uh, we do have uh, some things that kind of happened uh, this week. Uh, we got notice that we're going to be able to get these uh, four projects over. That was a really important thing. And the dev team has uh, wanted to make sure that um, we got that uh, progress done as we start, obviously, this Thursday to start hitting some fireworks off on Lemon. So um, I, I think uh, Mike's starting to see some of the front end part of that. There is some back end work that has to be done as well. Um, I believe that should all be fixed and done by uh, my night uh, on Wednesday, which is uh, morning Wednesday uh, back in the United States. So if we can um, just give a little bit of uh, bearing time for that, I believe a light paper will show up for an L2 project on Thursday uh, as committed. Uh, and then that way you guys have the seven days before uh, that has the possibility to mint. Um, and that's, that's the schedule I'm really trying to uh, to hold to so that everybody has plenty of time uh, before uh, minting actually uh, takes place. So um, the, uh, the swap mechanism is currently right now um, scheduled uh, and on time for the LEM token on Thursday. Um, I don't see any issues getting that out. If anything does correspond, I will be very, very heavily communicating. Even if it's 4 o'clock in the morning my time, I will keep in touch with the base. But we're doing testing right now and everything's looking fantastic. Very cool. Speaking of swapping and stuff, uh, did, uh, what's the, how's the progress coming along on this swappability of the NFT side of things? Uh, that that is the swap I'm I'm talking about. Okay, um, so so we yeah we do have the uh, the contracts and that done up in in uh, sandbox and right now we we seem that uh, I was I was thinking we're going to run into a couple of glips uh, uh, you know uh, issues. We're not seeing that. We are seeing another problem. Uh, and we're trying to reach out to make sure that we are giving any assistance uh, that may need to happen with uh, with some users on unstaking and staking. Um, it is it, it's something not, it's not something on um, uh, the the debt technology on the DAP. It's um, it's something that is happening uh, on the blockchain itself. We are looking into it. I have uh, received several uh, questions over about it. Because the MetaMask wallet is a pure code uh, ERC-20, uh, that seems to be the fix for people that are having issues, but it is not wallet-specific uh, currently right now. You have some uh, safe pals that are totally fine, and other safe pals that are not. You have some uh, that are trust wallets are totally fine, and some that are not. Um, so we're trying to track that down and assist, um, assist the other team as much as possible to try to get uh, either... Um, a, a reset in uh, in update code uh, pushed uh, so that there's not any issues whatsoever at all with people trying to um, correlate over since everything is their assets. Uh, we don't want to have any uh, issues there. Um, I will tell you that if we see a major problem with unstaking, we will be very public about it. We will come out and I will give people a little bit more time to do that transition, which means you may have a couple extra days in uh, staking rewards for some that are able to come out. I wish there was another option for it. Some may get a, a couple days extra benefit uh, for it, but I got to make sure that uh, we're trying to do everything as fair, as equitable as possible. So if you're having a problem with unstaking uh, or staking or withdrawals or, uh, or that, try and use a MetaMask wallet. If you're still having a problem, uh, please write into support uh, at the debtbox.com uh, as quick as possible so that they can try and track it down for you. All right. Well, I hopefully, hopefully that just goes away. Hopefully MetaMask is a solution for everyone that allows us to just move forward and, you know, skip right over those issues and move on to new and exciting stuff. Uh, speaking of new and exciting stuff, you've been in and out of a lot of meetings and uh, there's always things going on, a lot of moving goalposts. Are there any new exciting updates that you may want to chat with us about? Yeah, you know, I've got a couple guys with me that, uh, you know, um, 
you, you get me on here and I get a little loose lip. Well, apparently they got a little loose lip today. I, I was actually in a meeting. I jumped out and Derek's talking about the L1 uh, and and, uh, and viewing it. Um, guys, we are we are currently right now in a very, very good place to uh, to transition. Um, validators uh, will be out in the month of July. Uh, if you would like to become a validator, you don't need to ask if, if I want to do one, I want to do one, put me on a list. That's not how validation works. Um, the benefit of being a validator is you will actually own the chain. It, it's something that you physically are responsible for uh, hosting up that uh, validator. Um, I'm going to give you guys a couple sneak peeks of some benefits of what we are doing in the chain. I think that's going to be exciting for most. Um, validators cost money. Uh, the price points will come out uh, later in July in a pre-sell. Um, if you do not have money for a validator, don't worry about it. If as long as you have LEM token, you can actually go ahead and delegate your LEM token to a validator that is not full. You will actually earn rewards for helping that uh, block be staked just like uh, a validator will without the expense. Uh, you will not get a full participation of the, of the gas fees thrown me through, but you, do be, uh, you are able to participate in those gas fees just at a lesser amount, and the validator owner will actually receive a majority of uh, those that he has staked in. Uh, but it's a way for everybody, whether they can afford a validator or not, to still fill a part. You do not give up possession of your token at all. It stays in a smart contract tied to your wallet. So you basically have two ways to benefit. Purchase a validator, stake it and max it. Purchase a validator and let other people stake on that validator for you. And then it's a, a split of those gas fees uh, in that running. Um, another thing that's really cool, and we're going through it uh, right now on different load tests, is a estimator for rewards. Uh, in real time. So before you physically go and stake, you'll be able to see what the estimated uh, gas is paying based off of the current uh, validator act activity level and the current transaction level that is happening on chain. This will give you the ability to say, yes, I want to lock it for a year. I want to lock it for two years. I want to lock my, my LEM token for three years. Three years is the max. Um, and Or you can basically go ahead and stake and have what's called an unlocked uh, stake which means you can uh, put it up there for a year, but it's unlocked. If you'd like to pull it early, you can. It's nothing that's going to uh, distract from uh, the ability to get your assets back. You will lose 50% of your reward if you do pull it early. Uh, but uh, you can pull it anytime you'd like. It's just you're going to lose 50% of your uh, upside with your gas fees. It'll go to either the um, validator owner or it'll go to the other nodes on the, uh, the network that are staked. Uh, so it actually benefits fit you for being able to move around if you need to and it, it, it helps the validators that have decided to to lock it away uh to get a higher benefit if you have some people uh walk very cool so i'm assuming that there'll be a, a cloud component which probably ends up being the easiest solution for most people in terms of being a validator uh what other requirements are there so you're talking about staking and stuff uh, any thoughts on what the requirements are going to be in terms of how much you have to stake and so on and so forth we're going to try to make this uh as easy as possible obviously as the price of uh lemon jumps around uh there will be validators that only have seeds in them not even full uh lem token um there is a unique thing about this uh blockchain we have an unlimited amount of validators possibility so Unlike a lot where it's a select few, they own it, they lock everything down, you can't participate, you weren't in early enough. Uh, this isn't that. Uh, but there will be a minimum, uh, but it's going to be based off of the current uh, timeline in, in, uh, in the horizon of growth. Uh, it will be a dollar um, uh, limit. We're going to basically come out of the bat with about a $500 limit to make sure a lot of people can participate. Um, we're going to try and keep it as close to that as possible, but we need to make sure that that rises uh, over the course of time to make sure that the, the people that got in uh, and that have a great um, opportunity to continue uh, being validators because we don't want to take that reward down so much that you get diluted. Um, so I'm going to say right now it's about 500, That's which kind of asked, but it, it, it's going to go up over the course of time, but it's not going to lock anybody out from it completely. It's just going to have a, a, a bigger hurdle to get in, but everybody can do it. The benefit of the way that the validators are is as long as you have a validator, you can actually stake on other individuals. So even though you may have a limit on your own uh, validator, what you can do is instead of getting the validator, you can just go ahead and stake um, a few seeds on someone else's. Does that kind of make sense, Terry? 
Yeah, very cool. Uh, well, we're also getting the question if there will be different kinds of tiers, and I would just kind of add a, a 0.5 to that question. Is there, I mean, I, I know you mentioned that cell phones are a possibility, but if there were tiers of validators and we could have, you know, some hardcore hardware, but then if there was a way you could be, I don't know, validator light, let's call it for now, on a cell mm -hmm. phone basis, and you decentralize the hell out of the network right, right overnight. So just curious if there's any thoughts along those lines. There is. Uh, we are testing currently right now. It's only a two tier. Uh, one is a mobile and one's a hard. Um, and we call um, technically cloud is hard. Uh, they have to go somewhere in a, in a mainframe. So whether you're whether you're cloud hosting or you actually are having a device in your house, uh, that will basically be a, a tier one. Uh, tier two would basically be any mobile device. Um, you will have obviously less uh, rewards possible because unless you're running the um, uh, the node in the background and you shut it down, you're just going to not earn as much potentially um, as your phone uh, gets higher on storage uh, limitations and or you've shut off your phone or that. So cloud option will probably be the most uh, valuable for a lot of people. Uh, but we do have a mobile um, option, and I think that's I think it's really cool for blockchain. It's 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 new. It's it's gravy. I, I'd love to get to all phone one day, and I think this is the first step to it. I think that's fantastic. I just love that there is that option. Um, can we can we summarize? Like some of us who are, who are knowledgeable realize that validate what validators are and their value to a network, and that it's lucrative. And I did post a couple articles in the group to try and get people up to speed, but. Can we maybe in layman's terms do a little bit of a summary of like what is a validator why is it valuable to the chain and why are they being rewarded for participation sure so right now we're on the binance uh, smart chain um we announced it in every light paper we're very open about it we're not running on our own layer one that layer one is actually where all of the data is sitting meaning every single time you send uh let's say a a, a block token from one uh wallet to another it's, it's not like it just shows up there with nothing that happened. You have to secure that particular transaction. And it's done in blocks. So a validator uh, goes ahead and is solving a, uh, an equation to make sure that it is put into the block in their correct order so that the history of that transaction is permanent and it cannot be changed. Uh, it also makes sure and it sniffs out any malicious activity. So What's really happening is it's nothing more than a check ledger that is keeping track of the money at all points in time and where it is. This protects the, the ecosystem. It protects every project that's on that ecosystem. And a validator is a, a pivotal part of a blockchain. Um, you've also heard a lot with, uh, with Bitcoin mining. It's the same thing that basically is happening in, in proof of stake. It's just a different protocol. This is a... Uh, uh, or a proof of work. This is a different protocol being proof of stake uh, or a delegated proof of stake. Um, what's happening is you're solving the mathematical equations on the block and actually putting these blocks together that cannot be changed. And then what's happening, a validator is going behind it and verifying that transaction. And another validator goes back and verifies the transaction. And another validator goes behind and verifies that transaction. As long as all validators came up with the same equation and the solution, then you're good. Otherwise, the transaction will actually fail. And so it gets kicked back out. Uh, and uh, some people have actually already had that happen quite a bit on uh, Binance when the system gets loaded up. It's because it was not able to be validated in a certain period of time. And if you can't do that, it's better just to kick it back to make sure that there's uh, nothing wrong with it and have you resubmit it. Every time you do those transactions, there is a small gas fee that is paid. Where that gas fee goes, it goes to the people that are putting that work in to get it done. And that is the software. It is the, uh, that's the validator node. And so, um, you know, this is, this is blockchain. This is how it happens. This is how it gets decentralized. There is no core business that's writing these transactions down. It is you, the community. And this is something I'm very excited about to once again, get further and further into decentralizing everything. The well, other I biggest part of validators is the votes. And we talked about this at the beginning of the call. So I'm going to talk a little bit and get a little lengthy here. Validators are who you're going to have to go to in order to proffer a vote for a project. The validation of that block or that vote will happen via the network and the validators will make sure that the votes are coming in correctly. And if someone says yes, it is recorded on the blockchain. If someone says no, it is recorded on the blockchain. And then the tally is public for everybody to see. Well, I love that. And also, I think... For those who haven't kind of pieced it together that if you are using 
kind of modern blockchains versus legacy blockchains. And now legacy blockchains, everything comes in sequentially, right? And, it, and there's a sequential time stamping, but now in some of the more modern ones, you've got asymmetric events happening and they still got to get organized all into one block. So that requires processing power. And that's kind of why you, you might need a cloud solution to get some of this stuff done for those who are wondering. Uh, you right. also mentioned, Jason, about on the 18 minute point, we are coming up around us. I just wanted to let you know that, but I do not see our guests as of yet. So I just want to let you know that. Yep. I just, uh, uh, he's going to probably come in under H dot E or he'll come uh, in under gray wolf. He hides under that one. So just look for those two and uh, anybody can welcome him when he shows up. Cool. All right. Um, so voting in policy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Voting in politics should be on blockchain. Yes, of course. But the reason why it's not is because it's too damn honest. <laughs> and and they, the, the criminal class does not want honest voting. They like, they like having selections, not elections, unfortunately. But blockchains are an excellent solution to that problem. That well, is very true. That's great. So we covered the validators. Hopefully people got a good taste for that. It can be very lucrative. And it allows us to own a piece of the network, quite literally, right? It does allow you to own a piece of the network. Um, and so, you know, everybody kind of asks, you know, well, who owns the blockchain? Who's underneath it? Who's, who's doing this and that? Uh, it's every single validator that physically is up and going. Uh, it's it's not it's not the founders. Once we let it go, it, it is the validators. So the more val uh, validators you have, the more uh, LEM token you have staked. You can uh, rest assured that uh, the blockchain is is part yours. Well, and I really love the tool that you're developing, where you get these slide bars where you change a few variables in terms of staking and validating, and you can very easily and quickly decide for yourself, if I just adjust this or adjust this, the time frame and so on, you're gonna see you know, what kind of rewards there are to being a, a validator and for staking. And it's, uh, it's, it's lucrative, friends. I think you should be ex very excited about it if you're not yet. <laughs> so, so that's yeah, good. And, and, and you guys should be very excited as validators because the more projects we put on the platform, guys, this is the more gas fees. Every time an NFT is minted, every time an NFT moves from one wallet to another wallet, every time an NFT gets staked or unstaked, Every single time uh, a trade happens over a, a DEX or uh, or a token is sent to an exchange or a token is withdrawn from an exchange. Anytime you physically have any transaction, including some of these that have multiple transactions in one, meaning you have a burn function, you have a send function, you may have a, a redeposit back into the ETI, you may have a, an airdrop. Every single one of those you guys are validating, which means you guys are, are participating in that gas fee on every single one of those transactions. So the more uh, projects we release, uh, the more uh, value that comes from uh, day traders and that in the market. So you definitely want the 50,000 transactions a day. You want to have uh, on a project, you want to have uh, that type of value because if you get to 50,000 transactions per project per day and we get to a few hundred projects, guys, this, this, is, this is where it becomes very, very valuable to be a part of the ecosystem and better yet, own it. Well, you know, this thing just keeps getting more and more exciting. And then friends, when your rewards from being a validator come in, you can send it over to LemPay and pay your bills or send it over to your Lemon card and, you know, take your spouse out for dinner and that kind of fun stuff. So this whole circular economy is all kind of, getting built here, which is just fantastic. Um, will these rewards actually show up on LemPay or will they be showing up in the wallet that you just transfer to where you want? It'll be, it'll show up to the wallet that, uh, that you designate. Uh, we are working on a function to have a forward wallet uh, directly off the DAP that is not done yet, but it is something in our wish list. It'll happen with the L1 conversion so that uh, you can actually have a staking wallet, which could be a cold storage wallet. And then you can have what's called a pay wallet, which could be your, uh, hopefully it's your lemon pay. All right. Uh, we, we got someone come up with a new term called lemon daters. I, I kind of like that. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> it's like, hey, I, I like that. Good thinking. I want to be a lemon dater. This is good. Uh, you will learn all about being a validator coming out soon. Friends, the details will all be put forward. For the most part, it is largely a getting the hardware or contracting out the hardware and a software program runs and you're responsible for the costs associated with it, but it basically gets done for you. You don't have to sit there and program being a validator and doing all that fun stuff. So that's coming. 
Uh, hey, Terry, yes. can you do me? Can, Terry, yeah. can you do me one favor? Can you actually yeah. send the link to uh, my Dubai yeah. phone? Yeah, man, I I got it. Yeah, I want me to send it directly to HE at the same time while I'm at it. Yeah, if you do that. Okay, on tele, I'll do it on Telegram then. Yep. I'll send it send the stream here directly over there. Uh, no, no. All right, friends, we're going to have a guest join us here in a moment. How exciting is that? Many people have been asking, and, and here we have it. Or we're about to. Uh, so us lemon daters are going to learn about being a lemon dater, but you don't need to become a programmer to do that. So, yeah, just let him know that he does have the uh, the StreamYard link in the Telegram. Hey, Terry, let's just go ahead and take the opportunity. I mean, you have me here, and we're uh, waiting for our guests. So do you see any questions in that that are popping up in the chat? Uh, I talk a lot, but... Uh, I talk long. Is anything coming up from individuals I did not explain? Yeah, there, I, I am trying to take the questions kind of as they come along. I think we've kind of covered, you know, pretty much everything that needs to be. Are the validation gas fees paid in LEM token? The answer is yes to that question. Yes, ab absolutely. Okay, so let's talk about what is paid in uh, in, in Lemon on everything uh, from the DAP all the way moving into the L1. Um, the only thing that will be available um, in the early days to be paid for in anything other than LEM, including validators. Validators will be in LEM. Your LEM staking will be in LEM. All L2 projects will be in LEM. Your gas fees on the L1 will be in LEM. The only thing that you possibly have an opportunity to use anything else is going to be the actual LEM token directly on the uh, DEX. And the pairing options for the LEM token on the centralized exchanges and the LEM uh, NFT. That is it. Other than that, it is physically 100% a all things lemon uh, ecosystem. We are starting it that way and we're going to maintain it that way. Uh, I feel like we've covered this, but just because people are anxious, let's redo it again. The only thing people can do to prepare, correct me where I'm wrong on this, is to just basically have some something on the Binance Smart Chain, USDT or BNB or something like that on the Binance Smart Chain sitting in a self-custody wallet. There isn't much else they could do to prepare at this point, is there? No, not not really. Um, if, if you uh, are getting close and, and uh, you want to swap early, you can. But understand, even in the swaps, we want you to actually go through the white papers. So we're not doing... Uh, anything too crazy and instant. So even when the L2 project gets uh, gets listed up and are able to swap, <coughs> excuse me, on the 11th, that is not meaning you're going to be uh, earning rewards on the 11th. Please go ahead and get your assets situated when you have gone through the light paper and physically seen everything. Although these are free, um, I still want you guys to go through it and see what you guys are participating in. More for, more than anything, I want you to get excited about it. Uh, these projects, guys, are coming down the pipe and they are just fun and they are flowing in. We're getting all kinds of support from, uh, from our, our friends here in the area and friends of friends. And, and guys, I'm telling you that uh, the amount of creativity that is coming forward is mind blowing. Um, I've got a few guests that have actually uh, joined me out here uh, from the United States. They'll be going back and kind of seeing some of the, the very cool uh, things that uh, uh, they've been able to be witness to, but more importantly, um, they've been a part of uh, and uh, in some of the creative sessions and that of these projects. Um, and I think that's just something that's really awesome. And I actually have uh, individuals coming in, I think, for the next three weeks uh, consistently. They will have very similar type of experiences um, and not only bringing some of their stuff forward, but, uh, but other things. Uh, we also have a lot of L2 projects that were uh, delayed, uh, uh, you know, back, um, uh, during some of the speed bumps, <clears throat> those will be heading forward and moving, uh, on, uh, the lemon L2s. Um, one of them is obviously the crypto ATMs. We have new locations now all the way through the Emirates that we, uh, now can place, um, lemon, uh, ATMs up and down the corridor of the seven Emirates. Um, that is going to be amazing, I think, for not only some uh, great uh, fees, but it's going to be uh, great to have uh, the ability to get more diversified. Hold on one second. Hey, brother, did you get the link that Terry sent you over? Yeah, I, I can see he saw it. Okay, perfect. Um, I will go ahead and have him admit you. Yeah, he just needs to get on. I'm not seeing him in the uh, in the background for the of the studio yet, so I will. 
put them on stage when he gets here. Yes, lemon ATMs. Yeah, we talked about those a while. I mean, a lot of times passed by. It seemed like yesterday in some regards and a long time in others, but it's awesome to have uh, ATMs that are ready to go. So. Just a moment, folks. We're just making sure our guest can join us uh, properly. He's got the StreamYard links. Let's give him a minute here and we'll have him on. All right. I think I think he's coming in. Okay. I'm watching for him. Uh, Jay, did you do you want to surprise people tomorrow? Or do you want to tell them a little bit about what to po possibly expect tomorrow while we're waiting? So uh, tomorrow you're going to see some more things, obviously, uh, you know, happen on the DAP um, and kind of coming through. We're going to go up and, uh, and visit a couple other uh, Emirates around. I think we'll surprise everybody and, and kind of just show them some of the other projects and that uh, that are in the works. Um, I think it's important to physically have visuals. And so uh, that's something we'll be doing actually with our uh, uh, local partner, but also we're doing it with uh, some of our, our guests here in town. So um i think we'll surprise everybody i think that's probably a better way to do it. and it's and they're big and they're fun yeah that's very cool i'm looking forward to it for sure and uh, and we're all speaking of new projects and stuff we're all uh chomping at the bit to get those light papers in our hands and i can't wait for minting and staking <laughs> obviously if we could do them yesterday we would have been jumping on them and i see our guests is joining us so let me add him to the stage and i'll let you uh introduce it Welcome, brother. Welcome, bro. How are you? Good. Hey, I, you've uh, never spoken to Terry, but I'm going to introduce you to Terry, a good friend of mine. Uh, he does a lot of these uh, Zooms and that. Uh, oh, sorry. So, Just now I see. I was not hearing. Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you, Terry? Doing great. How about yourself? Great to finally yeah, chat good, with you. Good as lemon. Yes, we will. Let's do it. Let's get zesty. <laughs> yeah. I want to introduce everybody to His Excellency. Uh, he's, uh, he's he's a partner of mine, and he is a great support for uh, not only the Lemon ecosystem, but I will tell you, he, he runs faster than I do. Uh, I, I've never seen uh, that very much in life, but uh, he, he is one that uh, comes up with more creative ideas than I ever could. And uh, the most important part is he, he's a good, genuine individual that cares as much about this community as I do, but also about changing the world. And I think that's where we share a lot of same uh, goals and interests. Uh, so uh, go ahead, uh, Terry, and ask some questions and uh, get to know our guests. Perfect. Well, His Excellency, great to meet you, man. It's, uh, it's fantastic to have you here. We're excited for you to be here. Why don't we start by just giving us a little bit about your background, and then we can get into some of the exciting ideas and, and visions for where you see this whole Lemon Project going. Well, uh, my background is very big, okay? So I will make it a shortage, okay? Well, I'm the CEO, uh, chairman of Zero Capital Funds, well-established funds, okay, and worldwide, a few countries established in UAE, Singapore, UK, US, and a few other places, in Hong Kong and Russia as well, okay, we are where we are located. Uh, we have our offices there. Plus, well, I'm um, uh, Minister for International Parliament, okay, where I'm being Minister for Foreign Affairs and uh, ambassador at large and diplomatic line uh this is a side well i have uh, his excellency uh media and uh which is, is connected to catvis catvis is a platform uh for communication well known in, in indonesia and asia and also in gulf uh, targeting of it was five million user which has been uh, changed to Catvus by Lemon, okay, integrated with a new development. Uh, just some of uh, information about me. Yeah, and speaking of Catvus, while we're talking, well, about I have well, well, I established first a digital Islamic bank uh, in UAE, established a exchange uh, in UAE, uh, crypto exchange in Latin America. Okay, CEO, chairman of uh, holding group, it's uh, uh, managed almost 8.5 billion assets. Nice. 
Okay. Yeah. And, and you were talking about CatFit. So why don't we start there? Talk to us a little bit about what your vision is with integrating Lemon and kind of where you see that going in the future. Lemon is not integrated. Lemon is a part of CatFit. CatFit is Lemon. Lemon is CatFit. Okay. That's what I want to clear it. Okay. CatFit does have 5 million user ads per now. Okay. But we have agreement with Sources Asia. Okay, for education, Meta Edo is under platform of uh, Catvis. Catvis one is done long back in 2006, 2009. Okay, till pandemic 2012. Okay, uh, Catvis two, which is more featured than even Facebook, uh, Meta, and many other features. Okay, we have it since dedicated years okay not recently we have it so most of the feature what we have nobody have it but, uh, in kind of a crypto uh, for security uh, for uh, securing the data uh, personalize uh, privacy and many things but i cannot disclose it at this moment okay waiting for right moment to be disclosed uh, in announcement sounds good um, do you mind sharing with us what got you excited about the whole Lemon project in general and what made you decide to uh, to partner up? Well, I was sitting with the, with the brother, <laughs> Jason. We are taking a beer together. Nice. And it came to my idea. I have a bank with full software and a few other uh, software so we came with the idea okay to create something new to benefit the debt and uh, uh, the love people as i believe how is loyal okay to the community okay so he tried to create something new where they can benefit from okay so we came with the idea i came with the lemon lemonade or something call uh, even not as per now lemon okay it was something else but after that we decided to create it lemon okay lemon is lemonade this it was a kind of joke but after that in 48 hour i take it serious and i start to change everything to lemon nice i love it so jason mentioned that you have some other creative ideas for the future are there any of them that you feel comfortable sharing at this point in time um I see that he announced a few, few of them, okay. But I prefer to keep it for right moment. But I can give you a small hit, okay, exclusive, okay, from here from your interview. Uh, if uh, brother Jason allow me, the bank on, is not <laughs> Jason, yeah, bro. I, I, I can't hold the back if I want to. So go ahead. <laughs> Okay, uh, the bank is not uh, normal digital bank, which is uh, the feature inside. Okay, you will not find it in any other bank. This is short what I can do and I can say. Yeah, well, we're excited about that because banking needs a revolution and crypto needs more. Ease we have a, we have a player. We have a player. Yeah. Did you hear about a bank is giving you full fledged solution A to Z? It's all what left, you need left, in one hand. I've left a lot it's making of it's making it's making it's making your life easy and comfort, okay, from different perspective and different manner. One, okay, that is a banking. Two is uh, for fiat to crypto, crypto to fiat is serving it in the same time. Three, it's having all the other facility what you can imagine and not imagine even okay inside the platform so you're talking about uh, uh, uh full app full app i mean uh, all in one okay banking banking uh entertainment inside the bank imagine amazing it's amazing i love it i'm excited about it. chase i saw you wanted to chime in so well i was gonna, i was gonna have him hold every, off every, that's fine. 
Hey, that's, Jane, let's, let's, wait, let's wait. Let's wait to right that. moment to to, the, uh, to not disclose any things at this moment. Okay, but soon we will uh, we will have the narrative uh, and disclose everything. Okay, in the media, and it will be big booming. Okay, for the benefit of uh, lemon uh, community. I think I think the biggest thing that uh, we do get asked quite a bit, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad it kind of came up. Is is everybody's asking? Well, why can't we get know everything now? Why why can't we just have all the all the details? We need to do these things in drips uh, to get people excited a little bit. But more importantly, we 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 have partnerships in large media, and we want to make sure that we get the biggest bang for uh, buck. And and part of uh, brother's comment, we have his Excellency um, uh, companies that can come in and help us. Uh, get this out to the masses in a much bigger way. And so by kind of holding some of this stuff back, it's not we're trying to hold it back. We're trying to make sure we get the, the most exposure when we put this stuff out to the public in the right way at the right time. I can short also to add to brother Jason, okay? It's the biggest project ever happened in time of crypto world. Okay, from a huge base of credibility and a partner. This is in short what I can say. Yeah, there's some incredible partners. It's uh, it's just getting so exciting. I think crypto is going to be taken by a storm and by surprise. Did you guys um, maybe want to give a couple little drips about, you know, the big event where you want to mm -hmm. kind of in the, in the manner that you want to launch it to the world and let them hear about it? Um, a lot of those details uh, have not been finalized, but yes, we're going to have a launch event. Um, yes, it's going to be uh, um, very public. It'll be, we're trying to work in the month of October, um, but we are obviously going out to the community now and, and getting going. But, but the reality is every blockchain that has ever um, started, started on someone else's L1 for the most part. And every single project uh, that I'm aware of basically started with very, very small um, uh, things that then grew into bigger. This is one that is a massive thing that's going to become even more massive uh, with uh, the way that we both are thinking. And so I would basically second the fact that I have never seen anything uh, anywhere close to this in crypto or blockchain, Web3, even Web2 to Web3. Um, basically, erasing the line between Web2 and Web3 is very important for uh, acquisition of new users. I believe that the pieces we're putting into place uh, really make that a seamless transition, and, and that's very important for everybody uh, at Lemon. Did you guys want to add anything else, uh, some closing thoughts or anything? I know we're kind of coming up on the hour here, but uh, I just want to give you guys the platform to share the things that you do feel ready uh, to share and that people just need to be optimistic and be just a touch more patient and, and that good things are on the way. We are a partner. This is the hit, what I want to say from my side. Okay, with organization of Ministry of Education. Okay. And some countries countries i not will say one country countries okay where we have almost okay a few a few million user around 25 million user base as they will benefit from lemon okay for education this is one a plus we are having a partnership okay well i don't want to disclose it also but i can give another hit or jason he can inform uh, the people about okay that we have a 20 billion monthly okay a follower okay and impression amazing yeah the, not the, follower the i mean uh, a viewer a viewer a viewer sorry a viewer yes let me let me kind of get to a firm understanding of what an impression is. An impression is the same user watching three separate 30 second views in the same month and it's 20 billion. That's how you're defining the impression. That's crazy. That is the definition of the impression. Oh, I thought it was less than that. Wow. So guys, this 
script is big. We're going to go out there and, and go large. We are going uh, crazy. And I, and I want to tell you that we want to do it in a very strategic manner. I understand people will be pressing us. I want to make sure everybody understands that uh, you can press all you want. You're going to get stuff when it's appropriate because we believe internally it's more important to do it right uh, when it comes to uh, the big pops for everybody. And I think that uh, things like this are great. We want to give everybody excitement to kind of go. Uh, next week's the big uh, uh, the big week for a lot of the stuff with Lemon. Uh, we've got exchanges lined up. We've got uh, DAPs lined up. We've got uh, the DEX is lined up. Uh, so understand this is going to be rolling out very quickly, and you're going to see a lot more of us together and, uh, and and some other faces, I think, popping in sometime in the next month. So, Fantastic. Any closing thoughts uh, from either of you, gentlemen? Nope. That's, uh, I think that's all you get from us tonight, uh, Terry. You cried <laughs> out enough. <laughs> Perfect. Love it. Well, I'm glad we finally got wait, to meet you. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, go to go Lemon. Go to Lemon. Lemon is the future. That's what I can say for you, Terry. Wait. Wait for every question in your mind. Okay, you will have answer and evidence and the proof. Love it. So soon Forward. will come me and Brian, a partner. We will announce and we'll put everything live for everyone to see it to test it to check what we have very exciting guys i uh I couldn't be more excited i'm very excited what's come uh jason we're looking forward to getting with you tomorrow i know you had some interesting uh things to share tomorrow so we'll we'll be on the lookout for that i'll await your communication for what time frames you want to set that up for and uh we'll, we'll connect then well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. It's so great to see some partners showing up and, and sharing with the community. So we're, we're excited. I see everyone in the chat's excited. So we do appreciate your time, guys. We appreciate your hard work in the background. And we're very excited to be all things Lemon. Thank you, brother. Thank you, Terry. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you, Terry. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.